stay up there. No, I need to help Casey. Go. Go bother Jill. You don't want to be in the picture? No, that's all right. They may be in all those pictures for the catalog. They may be in all the pictures? Right. Right. <laughs> the horses. <laughs> they dressed you up and put you out there. Yeah, well, can't, can't say they forced me to dress up. So do do you ride down here mostly um, western? Yeah, most of my training is western. Western pleasure and raining is all I really did, but we, I mean, the horses just don't make the pleasure horses. Well, um, this side is a little bumpy. Mm -hmm. In the first two weeks, we can tell what they're going to do. So the hunters are, you know, we don't train any country horses or uh, park horses or anything like that. But um, hunters are pretty easy. We like them. It's nice when you get horses like that where you just say, ah. What are we gonna do today? You know, how do you want to ride? You want to ride collected, or you just want me to let you go in rain, or what? You know, <laughs> how do you want to do it? You didn't care. Try. Yeah. Okay. We had a hard time when she first came down to look at him. We had a hard time getting you know, stepping out of his trot. You know, <laughs> he'd get a little faster and thought, no, if I go this fast, I'm supposed to be loping. <laughs> so getting him to trot out was. Should be pretty well tracked to broke. Well, yeah, when we strip stalls, we just run the manure spreader and the skid loader. We bed with the skid loader, so we run them right behind every time. Every time. Yeah, I was wondering when you, when you said you were going to use this and you started up the skid loader. I was, I was trying to see what this horse was going to do. <laughs> yeah, they should be pretty well broke to all that stuff. Yeah, I get it. If they're not, they get there within two weeks of cleaning. So yeah. <laughs> Bob, he uh, he picked this dog over here and he went short around him. He's done the best time. Oh, she looks good on her. She does. I like her on this size. Mm -hmm. She's normally like th I like her on this size of a horse. Like since she's so skinny, if she gets put on like a big horse, she looks so tiny. Good fit. <laughs> Thank you. Um, when you have these options, do you sell most of the horses? 
Yeah, we've never not sold one through it. I mean, you might get a baby that brings $100, but okay, it's been sitting for four years. Mm -hmm. And what do they normally bring? It's better. What, what range? I know it is. I've never been to no. Just Our highest seller in the last couple of years has probably been about 5000 <laughs> Nice. Right. They average, they probably average about $1,700. Last year we were lucky to average $1,000 of course. We had a lot of babies last year. So is there an opening bid on each horse, or is that that's determined by you, or is, is, no, it, is it open, completely open? It's completely open. Yeah, we don't, we don't put a minimum bid on anything. We just leave it all up to the ground. Okay. Wait, this is next Saturday? Yeah. Okay. 18. Okay. So, you know, there's time to get your get your call your dad oh, I know. and get him down here. <laughs> My dad already said I'm not going to be part of the owning the horse club for a while. He said he said I, he said I should start hanging. Should we work on him? Yes. He should said we? I should start hanging out with Nina and Emily and be start oh. having sleepovers <laughs> with them and going to the creamery with them and Ooh. My Nina dad and Emily. Because I'm part of their well, club. Nina and Emily the are little the beginners. Youngest, our, our youngest girls at the barn, the little ones. Oh, nice. Like, Nina and Emily are these guys, you know, five years ago. Oh, you just hang out with them? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, they don't own a horse, so my dad's like, maybe, you should be part of their club now. Maybe we need to, you know, we haven't had that celebratory drink with your father yet, so. <laughs> yeah, talk, give him a little talk about that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should throw you up on one of these, Jill. You should. Send your mom a text and tell her, you know, we're going to put you on one of the horses. Let's see what she says. That, that'd be great, but I don't have texting. Where's Karen's yeah, she got phone? The oh. Call, text on Karen.